Hi, this is Philip Nan from White Collar Legal, and I'm doing a presentation on Money Claim Online, the rules of particulars of claim and how easy it is to avoid headaches. Money Claim Online, which is also known as MCOL, and also the Small Claims Court, even though MCOL also deals with claims above the small claims limit. I'm going to show you, show you how easy it is to get it wrong and even show you how barristers can get it wrong. I've seen and heard many non-legal people use MCOL and they've said it is super easy and super quick and they can get payment easily from anyone. I have to say I do agree with the majority of these positive comments. However, I would say that the vast majority of people who use MCOL don't actually know the rules behind it but despite that, they still get good results. Previously, when we have been instructed by clients who are defending claims using MCOL, we have been successful and have won the vast majority of claims by getting them struck out. This presentation is to give you a real example to demonstrate one of those claims. So let's get going. This is a claim form received by one of our clients. It's a real claim. And let's take a look at the particular claim and in particular paragraph one the claimant is a barrister and they really should know what they're doing the defendant my client is a firm of solicitors can you really believe solicitors coming to us for help it really does seem like a straightforward claim the barrister is claiming 1800 pounds under a contract for fees and he claims that the barristers, uh, sorry, the solicitors are in breach of contract by not paying it, and that's it, dead simple. But at this point, I should point out the flaws of using MCOL. Those flaws is the lack of space for the particulars of claim. As you can see, the MCOL screen only allows you to enter 1080 characters over 24 lines. There is no way that a proper particular claim can fit into that box. In fact, for money claims, the shortest particular claim I've ever seen is two pages, and the longest has been ten pages. I will, of course, do a presentation on particular claim another day. The rules on particular claim are contained in the civil procedure rules. Rule 16.4 and practice direction 16 paragraphs 3 to 3.1 to 9.3 show exactly what needs to be put into a particular claim and if you follow all those rules and practice directions it's certainly going to be at least two pages so if you've read the rules let's go through what the barrister has done wrong well this is a claim based on contract he hasn't bothered, bothered telling anyone what are the terms that have been breached or how the contract was made. This is a requirement under practice direction 16. Further, he says he's completed work. Doesn't say what work or what or who is JWVBGL. If you're a fan of blockbusters, I suppose you've got to guess. So does the court. Remember, the claimant has to prove the claim. If they're not going to give any details, how are they meant to prove it? So what should you do? If you can't fit your details or particulars of claim in the box, and many can't, tick the box. There's a box at the top of the screen. Many people miss it says you are required to give details of your claim in the box below if you wish you may also send detailed particulars direct to the defendant if you need to do this please tick here from our experience many claimants need to do this but they don't it is extra work unfortunately still you've got to fill in the short statement about the case and this is what a potential claim might look like 
tick the box. I'm not talking about interest today, so I'll just tick no. And then fill the box in with brief details of the claim. After you tick the box, this wording comes in automatically to the claim form. I will provide the defendant with separate detailed particulars within 14 days after service of the claim form. That means you've got time. You can carry on and issue your claim online and pay for it and take advantage of the cheaper court fee. But once issued, you then need to serve your separate particulars of claim within 14 days by sending them to the defendant using the compliance methods of service in part 6. Normally post or email if you've got an agreement to use it by email. You can also hand deliver it or personally serve it. The rules in relation to serving particulars of claim when using money claim online can be found in practice direction 7e at paragraph 6.1 and 6.2 and this explains what you should do next. Well, to explain a summary, if you cannot fit full details in the small box, tick the box to serve separate or detailed particulars. Or use County Court Online, that's a new system introduced by the Ministry of Justice, it's currently in testing but it works. Or of course use the old fashioned paper method which costs a little bit more in court fees. Continue to issue the claim online, serve your detailed particulars within 14 days and file a certificate of service with the court by email, that's in the rules on the practice direction 7e. It is a bit more work unfortunately but it will save stress and headache in the future and possibly money. Going back to our real case, the barrister in that case lost his claim and had to pay the solicitor's costs even though it was a small claim. We can help with money claims whether it's breach of contract, unpaid invoices, refunds for cancelled services or debt. Our rates are up to 67% lower than what solicitors charge and if solicitors are using us, so should you. You can visit our website, email us or telephone us and even make appointments online. We offer free initial consultations. Feel free to follow us on Facebook and uh, like us on Twitter or if you want to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook that's fine as well. Stay tuned for more presentations. Do subscribe to our channel to get updates. Thanks.